Good evening. In a moment, full coverage of the financial shockwaves rocking the world from that historic vote in Britain. But there is breaking news in an unfolding tragedy here at home we need to tell you about. In West Virginia, at least 20 people are now confirmed dead in a catastrophic flood disaster, the worst in 100 years. At this hour, 500 people remain trapped by those floodwaters in a shopping mall. Water so powerful, they're ripping homes from foundations and sweeping away cars. NBC's Ron Mott starts us off from the flood zone. It was sudden. It was violent. Raging floodwaters ripping through whatever stood in its way. Houses, cars, just about everything. I watched my car kind of flip into the abyss. Ten inches of rain, one quarter of the average annual rainfall around here fell in just 24 hours, swallowing whole neighborhoods, leaving tens of thousands without power. Oh, Lord. I just watched three houses go down the river, just floating right down and then crash. The governor declared a state of emergency. The damage is widespread and devastating. Deploying 500 National Guard troops, the death toll rising through the day. This was supposed to be a quick trip. Yeah. Yes, it was. <laughs> and it turned into what? A nightmare. Shirley Slater and her daughter drove into the Crossing Shopping Center yesterday, but left on foot today. The bridge that got them there, the only way in and out, gone. Stranding 500 people along with them overnight. I know we're a whole lot luckier than a lot of people. So, hey, thank God we're, we're all right. Also flooded, the famed Greenbrier Golf Resort. Normally picturesque, now a muddy mess. Pro golfer Bubba Watson posting a video and photos on Twitter. Tonight, as floodwaters recede, the cleanup continues, and a new escape route is carved on a hillside outside the mall. Another long night ahead for many hoping to get home soon, if home is still standing. Now, the people who did not scale that steep hill on the backside of this complex are stuck here for a second night. The fortunate ones have a room at that hotel. Those who aren't so fortunate will have to sleep in their cars or the Kmart or the Kroger grocery store. Officials had planned to put a temporary bridge across this uh, span here, but they say the road is still moving. It's too risky. Lester? Boy, that is quite a scene. Ron Mott, thank you. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.